ventriloquist, and you're like, hey, I don't want to hear that word. Don't use that word. I'm sorry, I'll rephrase that. They know I am Dale Anderson and you're Joey Harris. Is that better? Yes, it is. Okay. You a big dummy? <laughs> We're here to entertain these folks tonight. Well, there's another first. <laughs> and, and you know what? I see a lot of other guys like a as old. Oh, you stop. These people didn't come here tonight to be insulted. Where do they usually go? Probably were in school in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and into the 60s. Is that for me? Is that my telephone call right there, young lady? Hello? Well, anyway, a lot of these folks, they probably were in school in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and uh, into the 60s. Did you say 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s? Yeah. Well, how old is dirt? It isn't that long ago. I'm a senior citizen, too. You are? Yes. No wonder you all forget your lines. And you didn't come to rehearsal yesterday. I didn't come to rehearsal. That's what I said. You know, I was wondering, how come you're all, how come you're all spiffed up tonight in your tuxedo? You have more nice than Christmas. Well, you said this was a banquet. Yeah. I didn't want to be underdressed. I guess I didn't have anything to worry about, did I? <laughs> And, uh, what, what did you talk about the last time we were here, Dale? I think we talked about your Uncle Charlie and all the problems he's had. Did, did I talk about my Aunt Grizzle and uh, my cousin Ziggy? I don't think so. Well, let's talk about them now. They're not here. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Grizzle was reading that it takes ten dollars a year to support a kid in India, so she sent my cousin Ziggy there. <laughs> Poor Ziggy. And you know, that's an awful neighborhood I live in. I know, it's, it's pretty rough down there. It sure is. Any kid with teeth is called a sissy. <laughs> and they steal hubcats all the time. Well, they steal hubcats in most neighborhoods. Oh, the cars are still moving? <laughs> that is a tough neighborhood. You know, you know, Uncle Charlie, he got, uh, he got, you know what he did? No, I don't. He went out and put a television set in a car for Ziggy, you know, while they're traveling. Well, that was nice of him. And it worked out real good until Ziggy got hurt. All right, I'll bite. How do you get hurt in the back seat of a car watching television? <laughs> well, a commercial came on and Ziggy stepped out to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I guess I would hurt. And we pegged our pants. What the heck is that? When we pegged our pants, Joe. We would tailor them down by the ankles, so they were so tight, you could barely get your feet in them now. You gotta be putting me on. No, I'm not. That's the way we wore them. But I want to get something straight, okay? You wore a black striped shirt, yeah, and black pants that were real, real tight down at the ankle, yeah. yeah. You know, if you had a little hat and some goggles, you could have rode in a Kentucky Derby. Oh. <laughs> Pick on me. Pick on me all. I want to know what the chicks wore. Did, did they wear low rider jeans and holler tops? No. No. The same thing. Can you see these ladies in low rider jeans and holler tops? Not now. No. <laughs> uh, uh, no. You know what I like? What's that? I like the old westerns. Really? Yeah. I really like the uh, Lone Ranger. Oh, you mean Lone Ranger? Well, they was all alone until they hooked up with Tonto. <laughs> the diaphragm has to be firm because the last note on this song is a big one. You've got to have a lot of air. Now, the sound comes right up here in your throat and out your mouth, which is your microphone. Open your mouth. That's it. Show those teeth. That's how you form a bow. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't understand you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, um, I guess I know it's a little harder to be a ventriloquist, isn't it? 
I can still do it. All right, you want to try it again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, remember, you got to do the voice for me. Got it? Okay, go ahead. Hello there, little fella. My name is Joey, and how are you? My name is Dale, and I'm a great big dummy. <laughs> <Joey>. <laughs> <laughs> you use your voice. That's the only one I got. No, no, no. 